Hello, my name is Yongwon Kwon from Samsung Electronics, um, reliability engineer and collaboration with the customer. It's a great honor to stand here to present our joint work with the data center customer on Tencent. Today, on behalf of a principal also of SRCX uh, Samsung R&D uh, China CN team, I will talk about our work on SRC uh, failure prediction scheme based on field telemetry data. Um, SSD has become a key storage device in many applications such as uh, uh, server system and laptop computer. Especially SSDs uh, have been deployed on a large scale in data center uh, due to its high performance and uh, expandability and capacity. Subsequently, SSD failures bring, failures bring additional maintenance cost and more impact on system performance and um, reliability, such as data loss or service unavailability. So SSD failure prediction as a proactive fault tolerance mechanism has received more and more attention. Based on SSD internal monitoring attributes, machine learning is usually used to classify failed SSDs and health SSDs. However, there are still some challenges for failure prediction. First, some failures may not be captured by a single value of a monitoring attribute, but can be captured by long-term data changing. However, due to a different usage duration, the number of monitoring at logs of different SSDs varies from a few to thousands. So it is hard to machine learning to uh, directly deal with these data sequences with various lengths. Second, traditional failure prediction only answers which SSD uh, may fail, but uh, doesn't provide information uh, for failure handling, such as whether it is an SSD internal failure or uh, urgent or not. Uh, for these challenges, we conducted a failure analysis on the SSD monitoring data from Tencent Data Center. There are more than 70 million telemetry logs from 300,000 SSD, uh, Samsung SSDs. Uh, the failure and handling information are also collected and analyzed. Then based on our findings, we propose multi-view and multi-task random forest scheme called the MVTRF. Uh, forest, uh, um, first, we find, uh, we find the long-term data monitoring uh, data are useful for uh, failure prediction. Uh, so we extract the multi-view features combining both the short-term and long-term monitoring data to capture failures. Second, we find that the detailed information um, is significant for failure handling, so we adopt multitask to obtain more failure information while predicting uh, failures. We first performed a statistical analysis on the long-term data of SSDs and proposed a, proposed a design, designed feature based on the finding. Uh, for this box plot, as you may see, the temperatures are divided into several buckets. Uh, from low to high, at least uh, in the horizontal coordinate. Uh, the vertical coordinate uh, shows the uh, proportion of long-term data of each SSD in each temperature bracket. Uh, the left figure is an example of uh, proportions, uh, which is the temperature trend of a single uh, SSD. There are 15% data uh, falling into bucket one and 85% in, uh, falling into bucket two we calculated the proportions of long-term data for all health SSDs and failed SSDs and draw the box plot. Here, our finding, first finding is the statistics of long-term telemetry data of each SSD are useful for failure prediction. Based on this finding, we designed histogram feature with the bucket statistics. First, we divide the M buckets for each attribute based on the mean and max value of this attribute in offline data. Second, we count how much long-term data falls into each bucket for each attribute of each SSD. Third, we normalize uh, the quantities into proportions and use a feature selection approach to select more important buckets for failure prediction. Finally, we get the histogram feature to represent the distribution of uh, long-term data for the SSD. Next, we found that SSDs of the same server usually have a similar workload and thus similar attribute trend. So we compared the attribute trend of a failed SSD with health SSDs on the same server to find the abnormal attribute trend. Here are four examples of failed SSDs. 
Uh, on the left side, upper uh, blue dotted line is a failure symptom showing date, and orange dotted line is a failure reporting date. The upper two read only failed SSDs show gradual growth uh, rate of uh, control of digit time before failure report. The lower two health check failed SSDs have a rapid rise of uh, lead recovery attempt before failure report. Lead recovery attempt uh, is uh, an attribute of the, the, the characteristic of the NAND uh, itself. Uh, here, our second finding is some failure symptoms are hidden in the long-term attribute trends. So based on the findings, we design sequence-related features to characterize the fluctuation and trend for each attribute of each SSD. We introduced the three features. Uh, coefficient of variation represented uh, dispar dispersion degree. Uh, Curtis represents steepness of the trend. Slope represents a changing trend. For the above three features, we also designed the different features such as the slope difference to reflect the trend difference from other SSDs on the same server, and thus the anomalies are easier to be captured in addition. The trend may be kept, may be multiple changing trends, stages, so the long-term data is divided into segments and these features are generated separately. Finally, we analyzed the collected failure descriptions and the handling status of a customer's failure list. We found that failures are checked manually to confirm whether they come from SSD, backplane, or environment. We knew, it, we knew we can reveal the failure causes, the failure verifying. If, the failure, if uh, the, we can reveal the failure causes, failure verifying will be easier for uh, operators. We also summarized the eight failure types according to the failure descriptions. Based on the handling information, we give the urgency for each failure type, and we can see different failure types may have a different urgency. Uh, for example, for the for, for example, for check failed SSD, almost all failed SSDs were quickly replaced. Uh, this means uh, this type of failure is helpful to judge the urgency of a measure of system unavailability. Here, our third finding is detailed failure information is significant for failure handling. Therefore, we designed feature type and lifespan prediction to draw detailed failure symptom. Failure type prediction is to classify the failed SSD into one of the summarized eight types of failures. For lifespan prediction, we try divide the remaining working time into several segments and then classify each SSD into corresponding segments. The predicted failure type and lifespan information can help operators to plan how and when to handle failures. In addition, we also analyzed, the, analyzed and extracted the major decision process of uh, machine learning model to reveal failure causes. This is the overall architecture of our machine learning implementation. There are two main parts. Uh, the bottom part is offline training, and the top part is online prediction. Based on offline data, we generated the designed features and the labeled health or fail, failure type, lifespan, and then trained the MVTRF. Low feature is the attribute value of a single telemetry low, while histogram and sequence feature are calculated from multiple telemetry log. For online prediction, the same features are generated and input into MVTRF to predict whether SSD is failed, the failure type, and lifespan. If a failed SSD is predicted, the major decision is extracted to reveal the failure causes, finally, based on the, fin uh, the failure type and lifespan, now the suggestions to deal with the failures to operators are provided. This is our machine learning model, multi-view and multi-task random forest. Random forest is composed of multiple decision trees, and each decision tree divides the sample into different classes in, through a series of threshold judgments on feature. 
based on raw feature from a single telemetry data and histogram and sequence feature from long-term telemetry data. We concatenate these three features to form combined features with a global view. The decision trees are divided into four sets, and each type of feature is input into one set of decision trees based on a series of uh, uh, threshold judgments or decision trees both to get the final result by combining multiple views. As we analyzed before, the failure type and remaining lifespan are useful for failure handling. So the results also include them in addition to health or failure. They are boarded at the same time through these decision trees. Therefore, uh, three tasks of failure prediction, failure type prediction, and remaining lifespan prediction share the model and information. This can help to improve the prediction accuracy of each task and can reduce the training and prediction cost. One of the reasons to use the random forest model is lies in its interpretability. It is in line with the human thinking. That is, the final result is obtained through the combination of multiple decisions. However, there are many decisions from multiple decision trees, so we propose a similar decision extraction to obtain key decisions. Uh, through the key decisions, we can reveal why there is a failure, which can help operators to check the failure. And then what decisions are similar? Uh, the feature and decision logic is the same. And the threshold difference is within 10%, such as, uh, as you may see on the left side of the screen, alpha 2 greater than 60, alpha 2 greater than 65, like that way. Then we think the similar decisions that appear more frequently in multiple decision trees are key decisions. So we use the number of similar decisions as the weight of each decision. And select decisions with the higher weight as key decisions and remove redundant similar decisions with lower weight. Subsequently, we evaluated our MVTRF in real scenarios. Offline data are used for train models and online data are used to predict asset failures. Uh, we use uh, PM1733 and PM9 Alpha 3 Tencent telemetry data sets and MB1 Alibaba public smart data set. Each data set is divided into training, validation, and test set in chronological order for model training, hyperparameters, tuning, and model testing respectively. There are two or three independent in experience for each data set and the average result is uh, the final result. We use the following four matrix. Precision, recall, F0.5 score, ROC on the bar AUC. We use these criteria. Uh, for failure prediction, we compare the proposed MVTRF with the existing schemes, random forest, neural network, autoencoder, and LSTM. Here are the results of three data sets and the average results. Compared with existing schemes, we can see the MVTRF has significant improvements on four metrics. MVTRF performs better on all three data sets, which demonstrates its effectiveness and generalizability. Then we reviewed the effectiveness of the design features, raw feature, histogram feature, and sequence features with Land forest represent different views, so each of them has, sorry, its own advantages and performs better on different indicators. Here, combined features contain much information, and this may lead to overfitting in model training. Land forest reduces overfitting through the joint decision of multiple decision trees and performs better than neural network and autoencoder. MVTRF com combines multi-view features to get the final result and thus reduces uh, overfitting caused by only using combined features. Next, we evaluate on the multi-task model. Compared with the single task model, that is to say, training three models for three tasks respectively, multi-task uh, learning and prediction with uh, the same model improves the failure prediction accuracy. This is because the failure type and 
uh, failure type and lifespan information can help to capture the failure pattern. The failure type and lifespan prediction with the multitask model also achieves the highest accuracy rate. The accuracy rate of 0 0.95 and 0 0.55 indicates the MVTRP works for on them. As for similar decision extraction approach, we can see false alarms are reduced with the, the combination of key decisions and they can represent the major decision process. Based on this, we can reveal the media error is the main failure cause. Then we also extract the key decisions from all decisions for predicting failure SSDs and still achieve the same prediction and recall when, redu when redundant uh, decisions are greatly reduced. As the figure says, uh, the if the figure says the extracted key decisions achieve the same precision and recall compared with the original decisions. We would like to finish today's talk with three conclusions. First, long-term monitoring data should not ignore the its decision and trend can be reflected by the uh, introduced histogram and sequence feature. By combining these features of multiple views, more failures can be found with the uh, fewer false alarms. Second, the multitask model can be adapted to predict more failure information, such as the failure type and lifespan. They provide more suggestions for failure handling. Third, by extracting the major decision process of a machine learning model, the failure causes can be revealed for verifying a failure. Finally, through our MVTRP model, customers' storage reliability and serviceability are improved. Thank you. Uh, 